I just want the judging to be like fair and like across the board with everyone. Like, is there a standard here? No? Okay. It's a new day in the workroom and the category is not family resemblance. <laughs> Before I get into this video, guys, don't forget that I'll only be talking about the looks on the main stage of Holland's Drag Race. If you want to hear my opinions on the entire episode and everything that had happened, please go over to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Hello. And before we get into it, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, this week's category is Roots. And it's a makeover challenge. So I'm excited. First girl, to, uh, we have My Little Pony and her sister, Zeus Kim. I love the idea behind this outfit because remember, the category is roots. So that's what I'm talking about here. Um, the print that they're wearing, it's a comic of what their father drew back in the day as like a cartoonist. And I love that idea because it, lends itself to roots. That's where they're coming from. That's a big part of their childhood. And I love the print. I don't, so one of the judges said the print's not big enough to see the stuff on it. I was like, it doesn't need to be bigger. It's really fine the way it is. It's artsy, it's cool. I love it for what it is. Um, there was a little bit of like malfunction going on with my little pony's outfit. The things weren't staying where they were supposed to stay. But overall, I think it's a really cute look. Is it revolutionary? No, it's not. It's, uh, what would you even call this? Bondage-y, catsuit, lingerie? I don't know. It's very revealing, it's very sexy. I love the wigs. It's giving me Ariana Grande meets Mortal Kombat or something. I thought this was a really cute look. They both looked amazing. They looked hella great. I thought from head to toe it was a complete look, cohesive look, and yeah, I liked it. It wasn't the most forward thinking or whatever, but because it's a comic book that they're referencing for their father's drawings, and they're dressed like comic book characters, I thought this was brilliant. Tabitha and her sister Jermaine, I... I like Tabitha. I like Tabitha as a queen. I think she is seasoned, she's an entertainer through and through, and she's hella funny. So it breaks my heart to say, I don't like anything about this. The wigs weren't doing it for me. The outfits were so regular, it's just so regular. And I don't understand the back to my roots thing. Uh, they're talking about this butterfly effect. I don't get it because with the backstory of Tabitha and her family, I don't know how this outfit plays into their roots. It, it looked fine. The makeup, she did a great job making over her sister. Uh, Jermaine looked great. Uh, athlete, so the body's on 10. She looked confident, beautiful. Tabitha didn't cinch. She's that type of girl. We learned to live with it. And the hair was very different. It was like, yeah, big curly hair, but Tabitha had some braiding going on. Jermaine didn't. She had like dark roots. I was like, I don't know what's going on. It just seems like you have two outfits in the same outfit in different colors and like big curly wigs that are really not the same. And they're like, let's do a family look together. I just don't get it. It was not, it's not my favorite. It's not. The great job at making over your sister, but this is not my favorite look, and I don't understand the family resemblance. Sorry, not family resemblance. Get that out of my head. Out of my head, out of my head, out of my head. I don't understand the roots. If I missed it, maybe I did. Could you please tell me in the comments, what does this outfit have to do with her roots? Because I remember her story, but this butterfly effect, it's not landing for me. Correction, she is cinched on the runway. She did take it off later in the episode though. <laughs> Kina Minaj and her mother Joyce looked amazing. They were, they had the assignment down packed. They were giving you Indonesian goddesses and that's what it's about. It's take your family member, make them over and then come on the runway displaying your roots, whatever your roots are. 
are is your roots Indonesian? Kita Minaj hit that on the head. Is your roots um I don't know up in the country and we milk goats like to put on a little I don't know. I don't know what y'all do, but like where are your roots at? What are what's important to you? Where are you from? What's your story? Display that on the runway. That's what Kita Minaj and Joyce did. And Joyce looked beautiful, regal. She was so confident on the runway. I love the outfits. I will say, you know what? It's not the most traditional uh, garb that I've seen Indonesian uh, people in, but at the same time, it gives everything it needs to give. It's giving her roots, but modernizing it and putting that Kita Minaj twist on it. Because Kita Minaj is edgy and she's futuristic and she's always walking that line. And so I love the balance. She didn't go all the way like literally, literally, literally traditional garb. So I'm really enjoying this. Vanessa and her partner, Steve, they look gorgeous. I'm so glad Steve was comfortable shaving his beard. I mean, if you come on the show, you better be ready to do the damn thing and get rid of it. Uh, they're both playing up to this, um, you know, power of love thing. And I, it makes sense for their roots, for their story together and how they met and everything. It makes sense. He's Cupid, shoots her with the arrow, they fall in love. They look gorgeous in white. They're confident, they're playing on. This is the first time I've seen Vanessa not be like uptight on the runway because Vanessa has this regalness about her where it's like very, you know what I mean, right? Like she has that thing about her, that air of I'm opulent. And I love that she was so giddy and it was like, she's a little girl in love again, just being so happy with Steve around her. I thought it was beautiful. I thought they sold it on the runway. They looked amazing. The makeover was amazing. This was one of my favorites. The Countess and her friend Lot. First of all, Lot is gorgeous. Lot is stunning. And I can see why the Countess and Lot are friends. And the name Lot, like just L-O-T, like a parking lot. I live for the name. I love her name. <laughs> Uh, Lot is gorgeous. I can see why they're friends. I think I just said that. Yeah, because they're really beautiful people. Uh, their thing was like blonder in the city. Yeah, we're both blonde, beautiful girls with flowy hair and, you know, model-esque looks. Is that their roots? I don't know. So the judges didn't like that. The judges were like, this is giving me just two rich bitches in the city. And maybe that's what they are. Maybe that's the root of their friendship because the roots has to make sense with the person you're making over. And they have like a decade long friendship or something similar close to that. And if their friendship is based on them being beautiful, blonde, young, rich bitches, that's their roots. So I gotta respect it. And for the judging, I was like, you're calling out Okay, I get it that last week she was supposed to go home, tea shade and all that pink lemonade, but this week you asked her for roots and she gave you what her roots is. It might be vain, it might not be emotional, and like, oh, woe is me, but that's what she's coming from and that's what she's giving you. So I don't get the judging about, I'm not getting roots from this, but you don't clock certain people that I didn't get the roots from them either. I just want the judging to be like fair and like across the board with everyone. Like, is there a standard here? No? Okay, work. They looked gorgeous. They they have the body, they have the face, they have the hair, the makeup skills, the gowns are great. It was beautiful. There was nothing aesthetically wrong with it. Vivali and her mother, Karen. Okay, let's talk about it. Her mom made all like the entire outfits out of crochet for her and Vivaldi. They look amazing, first of all. The mom's super talented because crochet's not easy. I tried taking a crochet once and I was like, uh, no ma'am, thank you, I'm good. It's not for me. I don't have the patience for that. Uh, they looked amazing, Vivaldi and the color scheme. She was always playing around. They opened up the, the coat, there was boobs hanging. I love these franchises that just have the girls showing nipple on stage. I live for it. Free the nipple. 
Like, we love an areola over here. Uh, I thought the mom was confident. She was having fun. I love how supportive the mom was of Vivaldi starting drag at like 16 years old. I got the roots. The roots is, this is my, this is our mom and son relationship. My son wants to do this with his life. My son is this person. I love my son no matter what, and I'm going to support my son. And this is the roots of it, like, in the form of support. Look, I made this outfit for us. And from day one, I've always been, you know, his number one fan. I love this. I love everything about it. The judges weren't sold on it for whatever reason. They were like, uh, it lacked something. I don't know what. Maybe it's because he's young. I was like, shut up. Shut up. What are you talking about? What was wrong about it? I'll wait. And don't get me started about their hair. Their hair, like the, the outfits were great, but their hair was like another statement piece on its own. Freaking fabulous. So my favorites, it's hard to choose because I loved Kira Minaj, I love Vivaldi, and I love the Countess. Nope, sorry, wrong. Rewind. <laughs> I love Kira Minaj, I love Vivaldi, and I loved Vanessa's look. Like, I loved all three of those, and I loved their um, roots stories, and I thought their roots matched what they actually portrayed on stage. But if I'm to give it to one, I would say my favorite, like with root story plus outfit, Mainly outfit, because that's what I'm here to talk about. The outfits that I really love. I think Vivaldi's outfit was better than Vanessa, than Vanessa's and um, Kira Minaj. So Vivaldi had the best look for me. However, the winner for this week's challenge was Vanessa and her boyfriend, Steve. Uh, congratulations to them. They have a beautiful love story. I just, I live for it. I live for it. And the bottom girls, Listen, I don't know what this franchise is trying to do. Last week, they sent home the clear winner of a lip sync because they wanted to keep a girl that gave good runways. What? And this week, they have three people in the bottom lip syncing. Now, before I even get into the three girls lip syncing, let me just say, so far, I'm living for every song choice. The lip sync songs are really good. I live for it. I wanted someone to lip sync to this song on the American version of Drag Race for so long. I'm so glad I got it in whatever capacity it was. However, comma, the three girls lip syncing this week was Tabitha, my, pun my little pony, and the Countess. I didn't think all three of them needed to be in the bottom. I thought that my little pony could have been safe I don't think she needed to lip sync tonight. But I guess they want drama. They want to like stir something up, but I don't think anyone cares. I think we're just watching it like, y'all doing the most, but okay. Call Me Mother is such an iconic and upbeat and like fabulous RuPaul number. And I did not get my entire life watching this lip sync at all, like at all. I saw the Countess strutting across the stage. She knew the words. I like that. Um, Tabitha was doing her thing. She was giving energy and I love that. Live, love that. My Little Pony, she was serving. I, expect, I expected so much more from the lip sync with that song. Uh, they re the producers really tried to make it a moment, but it was not a moment. Long story short, my Little Pony and Tabitha stay and the Countess goes. And I think it's fair. She should have been gone last week. You kept her an extra week and now you send her home still. Um, it's not that she's young, it's that she's set in her ways of being pretty and she probably doesn't have a lot of experiences life-wise to pull from to give you a lot of range in her drag and her art. And that's okay. Certain people, they were brought up in a very I don't want to say privilege, but they were brought up very easily and they didn't have a lot of hardship. And so when you ask them for range in their art, it's hard for them to give you that range because they're pulling from experiences and their experiences are limited to just fabulousness. 
So that's great for them, like going through life. Amazing. We all want that life that's like, it's freaking champagne and roses every day. But for the sake of art and the sake of versatility and range, it limits you. And this is where we are at right now. She's no longer in the competition. I feel like it's the right choice. And yeah, this week's episode was interesting. I really loved listening to a lot of the stories that uh, the family members had to tell. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I'll be talking about the entire episode over on my Patreon, so go over there. Link in the description below. Love you, bye. Hey beautiful humans, you've made it this far in this video. Why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube, or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?